Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Poké News, where I shall go over all of the recent Pokémon news going around wherever. So, I'm pretty sure by now we all know of the set Roaring Skies and how valuable the set is. Mainly for a few cards, but most importantly, we all want that Shamey and EX full art. A lot of people, well, they don't really have the money to be paying however much for a booster pack of Roaring Skies to not get anything good. Well, by the looks of it, it's getting a reprint. Uh, yes, you heard that right. Um, it is actually getting a reprint, t like, almost 20 months after the set's initial release date, which I believe is May 2015. Um, the only problem with it is not only is it obviously in high demand, there simply isn't enough boxes printed to give to everyone that wants to pay money for the box. Um, See so what the problem is, there's more demand than there is supply, because uh, they didn't actually, the Pokemon Trading Card Game Company, uh, Pokemon International Company even, um, just simply underestimated how many boxes they would sell so they printed so many and now all of the big supply chains are getting hold of them whenever they can and they don't know how to distribute them because people will say oh okay we want this many boxes of this and then another person will say oh yeah I want this many boxes and they only have a limit of boxes to give out then obviously they can't supply to everyone so don't be surprised if your local card shop may not be able to supply the reprint of Roaring Skies when it's out because they might not be able to get hold of the box because of the demand. Um, another huge problem with that is suppliers will tend to side more with someone that's spent £10,000 let's say with the supplier than someone who's only spent £1,000 with the supplier. So you've got to look out for that problem as well is dependent on whether the supplier will supply to someone who's bought more stuff off them in the past or if they'll supply to someone who's bought less. So you might end up having to go to somewhere which gets a lot of use from their supplier, especially for Pokemon products that is. So if you see someone that's often stocked with Pokemon products, they're where you'll want to be going for the Roaring Skies reprint. That's my logic on it anyway. Um, Another problem I have with this is the valuable card that is Shaman EX and Shaman EX Full Art. If it is being reprinted in the set like it says it is, imagine the price drop it's going to have if there's now more of them in existence. So, it is a good thing that people can now get hold of the set, but it's a bad thing because it will depreciate the price of valuable cards. And as a collector myself, I know that I've got cards in my collection that are worth a fair bit that if they were reprinted exactly the same with no difference, they'll go down in price. So, you know, you don't want that really. If you've got, like, a whole collection of, like, 20 Shaman EX Full Arts, I haven't personally. I've not even, I don't even own a single Shaman EX. But it's going to depreciate the price for you and your collection's going to look a bit more weak than it was but either way it's still a brilliant thing um, so that is the biggest news currently going on in the Pokemon world that I can find there's probably more going on I'm pretty sure there's a championships coming up at some point uh, I think it might be regional championships I might be wrong but if you want to search up more the Pokemon website itself is a great place to search for news and just Google everything. Obviously, be careful of what you search because some people might get stuff wrong, especially if it's speculation and rumours. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching Poke News, and I'll see you next bulletin. Bye.